Hello. Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. We're we're on a, a new timeline. We're in a new new era, new chapter, new chapter of this world. So what we're going to do, um, I might not accomplish too much today, but we're going to roll a new character and I'm also going to uh, make notes of what I need to accomplish because um, we're, we're going to be doing things a little bit differently today. Um, instead of just rolling a character with like one mutation that could uh, potentially uh, solve uh, like one problem, we're going to be rolling a mutation or a mutant that um, potentially solves a lot of problems. I'm also going to do one other thing. Uh, I, uh, I have, um, you know, just, just to kind of put this in the... Um, let you know like the chronology of this when this is happening i've already started working on my options tutorial and um i've come to a couple of conclusions about what i want to do uh i've talked about specifically the achievement for going to um shoal um this is like the current uh and only caves of cut ending and it is also the the only I haven't done it. I haven't done this ending. I haven't beaten Cud uh, as it is. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be playing on classic mode. Okay. Now hear me out. Um, I understand that the way I'm going to be playing right now is technically roleplay, but I'm going to be playing on classic mode and I'm going to be playing with it in mind to attempt to beat Caves of Cud on classic mode. And if I actually get achieve my goal here and get to the end of the tomb of the eaters without dying then i will go to shoal okay but should i die and should this you know then i uh i've, I've said it so that our character will not be deleted and in fact i have the ability to um save and load so at that point it, uh, should this should this character die then it will become officially a role play mode and uh, I will attempt to get some of the other achievements that are a little bit riskier and, and uh, you know, um, demand that I take much more like crazy risks. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be playing on classic mode. I'm gonna be rolling uh, a mutant. I'm gonna be making a new mutant. Um, this mutant is gonna be partially an esper, but I think I kind of just wanna make a mixed breed of physical and uh, mental mutations. So with that in mind, um, I really like the Apostle. I think the Apostle gets like some just really good stuff. Coast, customs and folklore is great. Ego is great. Um, and then I can always kind of roll things into a, a physical mutant if I want to. Um, I'm not going to be taking any morphotypes. Uh, we're going to be taking um, domination because I need to dominate a goat. So that's one achievement that we want to cross off the list there is another achievement i want to cross off the list and i'm going to try and open this up here um give me one second oh yes uh phasing so we need phasing uh phasing is actually so there's a there's a well okay actually i don't know if i do want phasing there is a uh achievement violate the the poly exclusion principle um it might also be the second of the violate the laws. Uh, exploit your wave particle duality to clone yourself. Okay, that's a different one. Um, that involves putting a splitter on, on a specific gun. Um, but anyway, I I don't think I want phasing. This this achievement is, is another death achievement and it, it revolves uh, me, it involves me phasing into a wall and, and dying. So I don't really wanna do that. But I do want domination. I think that that would be a good one to have. Um, and I'm just having a quick look through some of the other achievements to see if there are any other mutation based ones that I could obtain. Not really seeing any. Uh, I would have to look at the wiki, which I do have open with the achievements list on it to see some of the hidden achievements, which is, is kind of a pain in the butt. Also, um, <laughs> I, I, f I found out the, uh, the the landing pad achievement is only kind of the beginning. The slinth are a massive pain in the butt. They are very, very demanding, and they demand that you uh, do all kinds of crazy stuff. 
in order to to get another achievement you have to basically uh, convince 10 uh settlements to take them in which isn't actually too bad um it's it's like it's not completely out of the realm of possibility but dang dang if it isn't a, a kind of an ask so anyway we're i'm looking through the achievements and i'm not really seeing anything that i can take now um do 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 hold on are these the, okay these are the hidden ones hidden achievements a lot of them are death a lot of them are death based um we still have to find the the hidden glow pad that's fine um obtain glimmer right okay so there is a glimmer based achievement that i did not get and i think i do want to get it um on this run and looking at everything it looks like that's basically it uh in terms of that you can okay regenerate a limb i think we've already got that get killed by shoot crab well that's a different one red rock hazing ritual that's a different one entirely so um i'm just going to take domination in this case um for the purposes of gaining an achievement and then we're going to want um something else domination is kind of a pain in the butt it's not really an a, a, a mutation i will I, I ever really want to take because it's so circum it's not that it's circumstantial it's that it's very micromanagey um I, I like it in theory i don't like it in practice uh i think i want to take light manipulation kind of want to take mental mirror although I, I think mental mirror is actually not that good reflect mental attacks back at your attacker when you suffer a mental attack while mental mirror is off cooldown Wait, what? When you suffer a mental attack while mental mirror is off cooldown, you gain plus four mental armor. If the attack then fails to penetrate your MA, it's reflected back at your attacker. That has a cooldown? Did not know this. Could, you know, kind of wouldn't mind taking space-time vortex, um, just so that we can do some some uh, vortex jumping. Was there a question mark there? Oh yeah, amnesia. Uh, do we want... Kind of kind of want to go Esper. Um, going Esper Morpho type is dangerous, not really a huge fan, but, uh, especially for trying to win a run, but it would help in some regard. Negative 50 reputation with every faction is, uh, not really doable. We could take Quantum Jitters. Small chance that uh, you, for your focus slips and you dent space-time in the local region, causing one to two space-time vortices to appear. This chance increases the longer you go without using an activated ability. Could take Quantum Jitters, and then I don't have to take Space-Time Vortex, because then we just have a natural way of creating um, portals. That would be kind of nice. Then I'll take Esper, and we have uh, three more points. Sorry, six more points to play with. Uh, kind of wouldn't mind taking Precognition, because that'll make uh, raising our AV a lot more doable with um neutron flux that's that's a good one right there to take and teleport other wouldn't be a bad one clairvoyance is a really good one kind of like clairvoyance although it is a little bit micromanagey i wouldn't mind having a wall force wall if i could take force wall i kind of wouldn't mind that but can't really afford it i don't like kindle kindle's dumb Mental Mirror is tempting. Sense Psychic is bleh. Meh. Telepathy is meh. Telepathy, the nice thing about telepathy is I, th I do believe it means that we, if we get Glot Rot, we don't have to worry about not being able to continue our quest. Unless, of course, we get Glot Rot before we talk to Grit Gate, because then we have to talk through like a little teleprompter or whatever you want to call it. Teleport Other is, 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 is very tempting. I think I'm going to take Mental Mirror. I know mental mirror is not good. I understand that. Um, you don't don't worry. Don't don't uh, feel you have to inform me on that one. Um, I'm going to what we're gonna do. Excuse me. What is what is happening? Oh, I see. We've we they they've updated it so that these things are at a baseline now. Um, points remaining. No, I should be able to increase these points. It's not letting me. Hold on, let me try. Uh oh, <laughs> something is not working properly. 
Hold on. Okay, we can use we can use the numpad. All right, we're gonna use the numpad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase our ego by quite a lot. And I'm also gonna increase. This is gonna be one of the first times I ever like really double down on willpower. Um, we're not gonna go this hard. I just want to see what the the like how far can we get if I dump a lot of points in. So we're gonna go with 22 on willpower and ego. I think that that would be good. Um, I think I want to take like at least have zero toughness and i definitely want intelligence intelligence is just like always relevant and we're gonna have zero we're gonna have negative three strength and negative three agility not not really great is it not not wonderful so i'm wondering if if we take like maybe one off ego we don't have to have too much in ego because we're going to be able to gain ego in the long run from psychic hunters so we could take that and um maybe strength determines how effectively you penetrate how much damage your melee do does and your ability to resist a forced movement and your carry capacity of course kind of just want to put some points into agility so that we're not completely useless with a gun um i'm gonna i'm actually gonna shortchange ego just a little bit more because i don't i really don't need to have a high amount of ego um to start with like just one is fine and we'll throw some points into our like necessary um mental attacks and this is going to do it um this is this is a pretty risky run this is the riskiest one of the riskiest characters i've ever made um what we're gonna do also i'm gonna randomize the name and then i'm actually gonna color it so this is something uh nerf recently uh, put me on to is, is if you, there's an option in I believe debug that lets you enable um, the color options for for names and then you can like color your character's name like anything you want um, I don't know what I really want I'm this is kind of a very like chaotic character since we we are like accidentally creating portals and stuff like that so I wouldn't mind something that kind of uh, enacts a, a certain amount of chaos um phase harmonic is kind of neat plastifer this is something i'm going to be using i'm going to be doing this in the future for like all future characters sparking sparkling is kind of neat structural tarnished siphon telemetric telemetric is neat um let's let's go with let's go with sphinx since i do have precognition except so our, our, our character is ecat we are going to be starting in jopa for a couple of reasons um the first being that we we need to be able to clone sesophus um that's a achievement and unfortunately the other is that we are going to have to become enemies to jopa this means i'm not going to uh make friends with any of the residents there's a there's honestly a good reason i could have probably gotten this like achievement in the other run if jopa existed um but it's it's kind of unfortunate that it doesn't but um you know if you break a few water rituals everyone hates you so there's not really like you don't have to go out of your way to to hate and get, get become hated with jopa you could just become hated by everyone in a way i think i'd prefer that but um, we do have to clone Sisyphus. And uh, it's been a while since I did a Jopa run. I'm, I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. So um, let's talk to Mehmet, get our quest from Mehmet. Um, curious about what kind of re reputation they have. Newly sentient beings disliked by Chava. Okay, so this is the other thing I was going to talk about. Um, I am playing on the beta. So technically we have access to the moon stair. However, I'm not going to, I, I'm not on the beta for the purposes of, uh, you know, doing the moon stair. We're not going to do the moon stair, okay? Don't worry. As soon as, it, like, if everything goes well here, then um, we will be ending this run before the moon stair is even an option, okay? But in, in case we die, and, you know, that's probably going to happen, I'm probably going to die, um, then... You know, uh, just to just to, you know, 
reassure you I'm not going to go to the moon stair. There is a good reason to go to the moon stair, I should mention. And that is because, well, actually, I won't mention that because technically a spoiler. So I, I, I will not spoil you in case uh, you have kept yourself unspoiled so far. We have a nylon body pack available to us. We have a glow sphere. That's kind of nice. So we could uh, head to Red Rock. Oh, I have to talk to um, two other people. We got to talk to... Where is our... What do you mean there's no... Oh, there, there they are. How come they didn't appear? Oh, the Zealot of the Sixth Day Stilt. Okay. Talk to the Zealot of the Sixth Day Stilt and then murder them. I, I'm going to murder the Zealot. New sound effects. New sound effects for the... Uh, for the, the, the for lays quite nice quite quite love those sound effects where can i find such a cave except the quests do we have any we don't really have anything we can give them now so we're gonna have to what i'm gonna probably do is we're gonna go to oh, okay tell you what I'll tell you what we're, we're at level one and we're very squishy right now uh, i'm not gonna be taking any risks what i am gonna be doing and even this is a kind of a risk right now but what I'm going to be doing is we're going to be exploring. Oh my god. First swamp, we have a, a legendary Barathromite. Admired by the Naftali tribe. Disliked by the villagers of Unir. Okay, well, we're going to run to them. As... Oh no! No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, can we... Let's intimidate them. Where, where did the legendary go? There he is. Oh, I don't have any oil. Damn it. And he's gonna, like, leave the screen, isn't he? Is he not? Okay, he's not gonna leave the screen. Okay. So, I'm gonna put a map pin here. I was going to anyway, but... Um, legendary... Barath. Just put Barath. I, I'm not gonna pretend like I know how to spell Barath or might. And then we're going to do an explore. Oh, is that? Oh, wouldn't it be like just the most convenient thing ever if that was a water skin of oil? I would I would very much appreciate this, but I'm going to get the I'm going to get the ball rolling on trying to find the legendary or the, the shiny glow pad like right now. Um because uh, so the legendary glow pad is as i've read it i might be this might be incorrect but you know we're i'm going under the assumption that the uh wiki does not lie about this but that it is um it's it appears in uh a center tile the center center of a parasang um i'm going to i'm going to hit glow pads or, or uh, glowfish we're going to be grinding on uh glowfish a couple of times just to just to get ourselves up to level two or three um we're we're very squishy right now and you know a mistake i often make in cud is to not just take the easy out there's very easy ways to um level up in the early game like like especially when you have things like lays um you see a wet glow oh, yeah, we're enemies to glow pads right now there's easy ways to 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 level up i think um you know caves of the cut is it maybe at its spiciest from like level 8 to 20 8 to 30 let's say 8 to 30 10 to 30 we'll even say 10 to 30 because you know progression from what level 1 to 10 is very doable safely um and i'm just gonna i'm gonna move on to the next swamp and we're gonna be doing this First of all, for safe progression, but also because we we are still looking for the glow pad. But you know, progr um, you know, progression from levels one to ten is very very doable. Oof. Okay, let's um, <clears throat> let's run away. Oh. Uh. I I I sprinted. How come sprint is not working? Oh, it was on and I, I messed it up. Uh, I have every potential to die right here. 
Okay. Let's do an intimidate. And then we'll do a laze. Okay. <laughs> so we have our first uh, space time vortex. I'm not going to be an idiot and jump into it. We don't even have a recoiler. So if I got um, recoiled down like a certain number of, of uh, strata deep underground, I wouldn't even have a safe way of getting back. So, um, you know, hopefully we're not going to be doing stupid things like jumping into space time vortexes. Um, the reason I'm playing on the beta, by the way, is because I, I actually really like some of the new interface features and I want to take advantage of them. They, they actually kind of, uh, they really elevate the game and I, I am working right now on the tutorial for the options. I'm going to make a note here, just called it X so that I know I explored this zone. Um, uh, but yeah, like since I've been, since I've been working on this like tutorial for the options, I gotta say, I, I, I really appreciate, I'm really appreciating a lot of the options that I've, I've been seeing. And, um, I, I have also, I'm really appreciating, wow, we discovered a bog, huh? I'm really appreciating, uh, the new interface for CUD. It's, it's just like worlds better in a lot of ways. I know that uh, some people have their gripes with it and that's fine. Um, I understand, you know, change is, uh, it's, it's, it takes getting used to, but um, I really, I like, I like what I'm seeing. And um, you can see like the, what I have, um, what I'm working with right now is, um, this is the, let me see, overlay. This is P Pixel Perfect 2 and Doc Message Log and Minimap Write. Um, I don't think, I don't know if you can swap them, hot swap them, but it doesn't matter. Um, and I don't, I, I like the docked message uh, over the um, unset. I don't like, I don't like being able to move them around, honestly. I prefer they just kind of stay put. Uh, but I like the slightly zoomed in look. And I, I like, you know, I use the mini map to, uh, to kind of suss out much of the danger. We're going to make a map pin here, X. And we're gonna move on. The other reason we are doing this is to make some safe progression because there's undoubtedly going to be some crocs that are easy enough to kill. Uh, the worst thing we can possibly bump into is a chitinous puma and we'll try and dominate them. The, the, a chitinous puma domination is very, very doable and uh, you know, um, uh, sh shouldn't be a problem. There's a croc, we'll go ahead. Plays them. We level up. Level three. We have an attribute point. I'm going to be a little bit um, cautious about how we use our uh, attribute points. We always have the option of throwing them into ego, but I don't necessarily want to do that because there are easier ways to get ego than dumping attribute points. And we don't, we get a very finite number of attribute points. It could be that uh, throwing it into like something like agility or intelligence, probably, probably I will end up throwing it into intelligence down the road. We definitely are going to want to get carbide chef again, by the way. Oh, uh, let me see. Hold on. Did I fully explore this zone? It looks like I did. Oh, there's another glowfish. Sorry, I, uh, for f fans of glowfish, I am... I know I'm not doing a great thing right now. Um, we're still getting 25 experience for each of those, so it is worth doing. I'm going to throw down a, a map pin. Do we have the map pin mod installed? I don't know if I... I don't think I went through and, and, and checked. I think I have all mods turned off right now, unfortunately. It really is a, a kind of a bummer. I, I wonder if that even means. I, do I even have? Can I do can, uh, Shift R, Control R? No, I don't have recoiler. The, the 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 quick buttons. Dang, I really like that mod. So that's that's gonna be that's gonna take me a lot of. I'm gonna be p complaining a lot about that. Kind of wanna like just like turn it on anyway shouldn't hurt the game i think the only thing that hurts the game are like gameplay changing ones but then again uh the reason the last run got ruined was because i made the mistake of installing the a music mod 
on on a, on a run halfway through so yeah I, i'm not i'm not one to be trusted to be honest we're going to continue shooting crocs with our lays as well as glowfish i love these sound effects they're so nice actually what's our lays at by the way Pretty sure I pressed X, so I don't know why it's going to our inventory. Why? Why is it going to our inventory? Um, okay. Well, light manipulation is at level two. We do have mutation points. Um, it will be a good idea to hold on to mutation points for a while. I'm I'm pretty content with the level, the you know, the uh, amount of damage we're doing right now. So I don't have to. I'm not going to put points into light manipulation, but. Um, I, I kind of want to keep our our, uh, our mutation points because if I want to get the star-eyed esper, which is to have a glimmer 200 flattened remains. Oh, hey, nice. Um, I'm pretty sure that's free mechanical wings. Strange tubes. You take the strange tubes. We've taken the strange tubes. We'll also grab 120 wire strand. Wow, this is a really easy way of... Completing this quest. Didn't really realize that, actually. Uh, the, the wet croc dies. Too bad. I was going to kill that croc. Still no... Um, still no uh, shiny glow pad. Journal. Note. Oh. Did I, did I make a note? Name location. Uh, I don't know what that little symbol means. I think it's just a, a page break. Okay. We are coming up to the end of the episode here. But we are already level three. Not that it's a problem to level up in the early game. We are looking for our legendary glow pad. There's not, you know, there's not not a lot to to say about the early game. I've I've played, I started so many runs of Caves of Cud now, um, and I've gotten really used to making safe progression. And you know, there's definitely like you know, the, the 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 moments I'm most likely to die are honestly like I say the range t levels ten to to thirty, because that is like when I'm the most likely to become overconfident. And it's also the most likely when creatures have, like, an unexpected advantage over me. So that is, uh, that is when I'm, like, the most likely to be harmed and, and destroyed. <laughs> but, anyway. Map pin X. And I'm just using those map pins to, to ex check on what I've explored in the swamp. I don't expect to find the shiny glow pad in this episode, to be honest. But it would be kind of nice. I just wanted to get to like, you know, level five, make some safe progression. Oh, we know, you know what? We forgot to get, I, I forgot to get our named location from the statue north of Jopa. So I got to do that. This is a pretty, this is a pretty convenient way of doing things. If the shiny glow pad is guaranteed in the center of the parasang, which, you know, I have, like I say, I have to assume it is. Uh, let's do an Intimidate here. Okay, good. And then we'll do some Lays. There we go. Level 4. Then, um, just marking the location and then moving on is a, it's, it's a much quicker way of doing this. I do really hope that the Shiny Glow Pad is, like, guaranteed in the center. Um, the wiki says it is, and that would be kind of nice, because then I don't have to fully explore the entire swamp. <gasps> Yo, is that it right there? This glow pad seems to be running a small shop. Loved by the consortium of Fida. Hated by the villagers of Tarchapur for lighting a beacon fire to warn their enemies. Yo, hello. Hey, can I interest you in some consortium wares? Yeah, absolutely. Whoa. Yo, this this uh, glow pad's got some good stuff for this early game. Um, kind of incredible. I wouldn't mind buying a glow sphere. 
we don't have night vision. Uh, what's this third option? You note the location. There it is. Achievement gotten. You note the location of a secluded merchant from the Consortium of Fida in the locations oddities section of your journal. So I was wrong. This um, this glow pad does have weight to them. Uh, they are they're a, a seller. They're a seller of goods. I love that. I love that for them. Um, and what I'm going to do now that we have that is I'm going to delete uh, all of our other tabs. I think. Oh. Oh, delete is delete. But I'll do that um, between now and the next episode. But I, what a great way to start the new series uh, or new character um, is, is by getting an achievement. And uh, isn't, that, isn't that what it's all about? Uh, probably when I go to Red Rock is when I will dominate a goat and we'll get another achievement. And we'll just kind of keep rolling through these. We're, we're actually... I wouldn't say we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, but definitely we're making progress here, so that, that feels pretty good. Um, if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time, and thank you very much to the uh, subscribers to my coffee. I really appreciate y'all. You, you're doing a great thing supporting the channel. Really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, see you guys next time. Take it easy.